depending on who you speak to, you get quite a different definition for what edge computing is. Um, I think at a high level, it's really about putting the processing, compute, storage capabilities somewhere on a spectrum between um, the data center and the end device. And from a telco perspective, that could be um, in the core network, in the metro, or in the access network. But it can also be about being on the enterprise site where you have the telco CPE and you have a presence as an operator already. There are lots of use cases for edge computing and some of them may also leverage 5G to really get down to the, um, the latency requirements that are needed by certain uh, applications. But it can be things like uh, cloud gaming, um, uh, it could be about video analytics, so being able to, in real time, uh, detect a customer in a retail shop. Um, it could be also for IoT type applications in a factory setting or in an oil and gas, an oil rig, for example. Um, so there's lots of different things going on and lots of things that can use edge computing, but it's always con equally important to consider what's the real business driver for why a developer or an enterprise adopts edge in the first place. In terms of edge infrastructure and how a, an operator or any um, solution provider might deploy it, it's worth considering um, both the hardware and the software layer. Um, both can be done in a, in a modular way and I think it's important for operators to avoid going through a waterfall method of developing a full business case for edge when it can be done in an iterative way. Um, for example, an operator could deploy a handful of edge sites to start with to gain demand and get traction and then roll it out um, across the whole um, country uh, in the longer term. Um, the other thing to bear in mind when it comes to edge infrastructure is the use of partners and the other thing that operators need to consider is to what extent will they be building capabilities and infrastructure in-house and how they use either traditional vendors or new startups uh, and those in the cloud domain like the hyperscale cloud players to help them build out their edge infrastructure.